Good luck. Ooh, I go first. All right. We're going to pretend that we know what we're doing. It's a good way to learn things. All right, so from here, um, it's possible, as we learned during Shogi Harbor's live stream this morning, you can play the Rook to the Third File in this situation. It is playable. Um, all right, and so now I've built up, like I'm defending the rightmost four, the four rightmost pawns. And my leftmost pawn are defended. Um, so I could elect to close this diagonal. Um, I could just keep tucking my king in. What I'm concerned about is some sort of bishop drop if I end up lifting my rook. Um, Actually, closing the diagonal here, I think, does make sense. Um, does confine my bishop a bit, but it'll help me make sense of the rest of what's going on. Um, so I have a choice between pushing my third foul pawn, which looks crazy, or just playing an Ishida-style attack, just elevate the rook. Uh, <clears throat> Which I think I need to do at this point. Otherwise, this pawn uh, is just too menacing. Yeah, we both enjoy tactical melees, um, but this time we're going to have a different sort of a game. Um, maybe. Maybe not. Things might get crazy very quickly anyhow. Um, so I could also stop this pawn from advancing by moving the bishop up. Uh, that way when he moves the silver, uh, I advance this pawn, they take, I take. Uh, not sure how good that is. I'm not sure. Actually, wait. This is a really interesting shape. Um, but before I go crazy attacking, probably should continue building this castle. Because, yeah, here what's interesting about this is that the silver goes to the center. Um, it doesn't have a way to break into this shape here. Um, Alright, so we've almost finished building my castle. Um, once I've completed Mino, uh, I can debate the rest of what I'm doing. But yeah, this... I mean, they have built... Okay. They have unbuilt their castle, but at least they don't have this silver wall trapping their king in. Um, I think this is indicative of a, ra a rapid attack. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. So the idea behind moving the gold up into the left is to protect against bishop drops, which I'm not afraid of right now because like our bishops aren't threatening to exchange. Um, trying to find another path for my bishop. Hmm.
Well, let's complete this castle. Again, I'm not afraid of a bishop drop, but here I'm limiting my options by failing to protect against bishop drop ideas. Now I'm no longer really op able to open this long diagonal. I have to play a slower sort of patient game um, and await uh, my opponent's incoming rapid attack. Um, still debating where this bishop really belongs. Like, it could protect against uh, this pawn. Oh, but if I bring the bishop up, then my rook doesn't have any places to go. Although I am thinking about pushing this pawn. The main reason I haven't pushed it yet is because they haven't pushed their 6th foul, 4th foul, this pawn here. Um, so they have not tried to prevent me from pushing this. So this might indicate like an intent to start to prevent me from pushing here, but I'm not sure. Also, like, if I push, uh, they're just going to break in on the second file. So, that's not the best timing for me to do that. Um, All right, this is adventurous. Um, so I've undefended my bishop. And the idea is I want to bring my silver toward the center, but I'm not committing to that. My silver could also be used to protect against a eighth file attack. Um, all right, so now they're trying to stop me from breaking on file seven. Um, so this is the exact timing for me to do the break because they're trying to stop me. I don't want to be stopped. So is this break something I want to do right now? Um, normally, yes. In this case, probably also yes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Otherwise, my rook has a um, rather sad future. So I see a lot of pawns have moved. A couple generals have moved. These two golds are going to make it difficult for me to attack from the side. So I need to consider what sort of frontal attacks I might have. If this position is stable enough for me to like start shuffling my generals a little bit. Um, also, uh, I'm trying to balance that with the idea that I still want to bring my silver into the center. Um, if circumstances warrant such a thing. All right, so how far back do I want to go? Two spaces looks nice, one space looks interesting, but like if I bring the rook down one, it can go across, but it can't do anything else. Uh, on the other hand, oh, well, okay, yeah, that's just crazy. Um, Yeah, let's drop back two. So we've blocked the eighth file and um, can start to make way for our bishop to attack on some other diagonal. All right, I did not think they would seriously do this. Um, that's interesting. What's the idea?
I'm not sure. I guess maybe the idea is to put the rook on this file. Maybe. Um. Maybe I should have put the rook back one square instead so it could have stopped this. Maybe this is the bigger threat and I just completely ignored it. That could be. Um, also, I could move my knight. If pawn takes, I just move the knight to where the pawn was. That looks tempting. That looks very appealing. Um, is there anything wrong with it? If knight up, they could sack the... Or they could put the bishop here. That's not a sack, because it does pin my knight. Um, but I'm strongly considering that case, just taking the bishop or chasing it. Yeah, that looks fun. Let's find out where this goes. Sack is the wrong word, because they're the ones um, pressing some sort of attack here, but still. Yeah, bishop takes. My silver runs toward their king. Um, which looks fun. Is it sound? Meh, maybe. Maybe I need the gold to go up in this case instead of the silver. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Well, this removes their pawn in hand for some initiative. Um... Hmm. This gets complicated. So if I take the pawn, the silver uh, from the fifth file moves up here, and I'm sacrificing my rook. Um, could just bring the rook across, and they chase, and I do some sort of capture here. Like, my rook, as much as I want it to attack down this 7th file, it's just not happening. <sighs> so... Oh wait, no, if I take here, I'm actually attacking here, too. So if they do bring the silver in, I could just take this pawn. Oh goodness, that's quite the blind spot. Um... So yeah, if I attack, they have to push this pawn, and we can both continue attacking. Um, that's kind of fun. Alright, well, I see a free pawn, so I'm taking a free pawn, and we'll find out the price for taking it um, when it's too late. Yeah, after I played this, I realized, wait, bishop takes might actually be a thing here. Uh, welcome. So, this should be interesting. Alright, um, I am amenable to an exchange, sure. I could be talked into it. What do you want to exchange? All right. Well, right now the most obvious move is to go back one. 
Um, I do wonder if I've overplayed this position a bit. Like, my rook is severely confined, and the rules about Nifu forbid me from, like, putting extra pawns to somehow protect it, so... Um, yeah, maybe I've overplayed this. Uh, even if I end up sacking the rook for something, it's not the end of the world. I still have an interesting knight-takes-pawn idea. Um, especially... I don't know. If they pin this silver to... I don't know. They've drawn a lot of generals away from this castle, is what I'm trying to say. So if there's an opportunity to an attack, uh, it's coming soon. Um, Also, possibly, if they do Silver Takes Pawn, um, we might have a, a fun move like Knight Takes, and if they chase my Rook, I might sack it for this Silver. Bishop Takes, Bishop Takes. Um, wait, am I miscounting this? Maybe I miscounted. Maybe I'm not getting two pieces for a Rook. Oh, I'm sorry, no, the Pawn is gone after Knight Takes Pawn. So yeah, that would be two for a rook. Um, of course, what they're going to do is pawn takes pawn. Um, and that's not so simple. Pawn takes, if I push here, they push the edge. I push the second file again. They push to break the pin. I guess gold takes. Um, but then my rook is free. That's tricky. All right, so they did do silver takes, but I was not so concerned about this unless maybe I've underestimated something pretty severely. But um, yeah, I think I have to capture here. Um, and with this capture, now the silver is hanging. Um. But possibly, uh, I forgot that they could do pawn 7-7 seven, seven here. So this could get, uh, quite dangerous. Yep, 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 yep. Well spotted. All right, uh, so my silver moves. Um, am I sacrificing it? I don't know. They've broken the seventh file. If I use silver takes, silver takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, I've done a sack. Doesn't seem to be worth it. If I just take the silver outright and then take the pawn, I've got five pawns and some kind of an initiative. Um, that's not going to last. If I just run away with the silver, we exchange silver generals, they drop their silver somewhere. I don't know. Um, I think this has to be the way I go. This might result in lots of pieces getting exchanged. Um, if I could get a bishop, this long diagonal here would be a nice place to use it. But they would just respond with silver 5-5. Five five. So we got four pawns in hand. 
Um, but our opponents got control over most of the board. Um, everything's hanging. It's not looking like I'm going to win this. Although my castle is quite nice. Um, my castle could withstand an attack or two here, but I myself don't have an attack. Um, so I'm prone to whatever they throw at me next. Um, well, am I prone? That's really the question. In theory, I could be. Um, I played this because I didn't see how I was prone. Um, so I thought, you know, tactically somehow this might be justified. Even if strategically it's not a great idea. To just let your opponent attack uh, while you keep munching all their pawns. Um, but, you know, if I don't see what's wrong with it, uh, we can learn something by playing this and see what's wrong with it. Um, Uh, so I think part of what they're debating is whether or not to play Silver 8-5, or to like move their Rook somewhere, or sack this Pawn to force up a ship exchange, which seems kind of crazy. Okay, this opens the file for the Rook. Um, it's interesting. What's the justification here? I mean, yeah, they want to promote. That much is obvious, but... Um, could gold takes pawn somehow stave off the entire attack? I wonder. Also, it's tempting to just let a mutual attack start if I try to exchange silvers, like silver seven six here, silver takes rook takes, rook takes pawn, rook eight or seven two here, hitting this and just start whaling and the castle, but um, not so optimistic about that one. Bishop takes, rook takes pawn, I could force a bishop exchange, I could force a silver exchange. I'm not winning the rook, but um, yeah, I think gold takes is my safest idea here. Um, I guess they do have this silver, oh, they have a silver drop forking my knight in gold. Uh, I could take this silver, they take my bishop, I take the other silver. They've got a promoted bishop and a promoted rook. That could be dangerous. Um, yeah, just forcing the bishop exchange might be my best play here. Although my rook is seriously out of the game. Um, our silver drop trying to get my rook promoted. That makes more sense. The way I have at least one strong attacking piece. Um, even if my bishop does drop for nothing, which doesn't make sense. Ah, that's tricky. Silver drops, silver takes, rook takes, rook takes pawn, bishop takes pawn. A lot of stuff's attacked, but I can still promote my rook. And I haven't given it away material just yet. Hmm.
Well, I know I'm doing that right before Bioyomi. It would make more sense for me to spend the time looking. But the longer I spend looking, the more nervous I get. So we're just going to move. Um, plus, I might need that one extra second. So we'll see how long I spend on my next move. Also, I can debate, in general, does my rook belong on the second rank, aligned with their king, or on the first rank, somehow trying to hit their weakness? Um, I think when my attack does land, it will have to be on the second rank here. Assuming I can get a rook over there, which I think I can. Alright. Oh, we're in Bioyomi. All right, so I considered gold takes here. Um, still looks like my most tempting option. Actually, I could approach hmm yeah i could use a silver let's use the silver to attack where do i want to use it I don't know. I do know I want to activate my Rook, so um, I think that should be my top priority. But maybe I could have more than one thing here. Maybe I could activate my Rook and also start attacking their castle. That just makes another weakness, though. Yeah, let's just get the Rook out of here. We need this Rook. So, off the edge file. Um, Alright, we're going to take this, but... We've got time to think. After I take, they're going to drop the rook. I'm going to drop mine over here, and I'm just going to start attacking. Like, nothing else is going on here. Because um, that's my strongest play. Just forget the, about the bishop. And hope that I have something. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I did time the rook exchange incorrectly. Almost certainly I did. But I can hope that my castle is solid enough to make up for my silly play. Yeah, I should have done one more move before offering the Rook Exchange. Although that might have complicated everything. Alright, this is gratuitous. You... <sighs> um... This actually lets me get something for my bishop. I expected them to just try to win the bishop for a tempo or something, but they're going to give me an entire general for it. That's pretty nice. It's a hard deal to pass up. Yeah, let's do it. So I could fork the bishop and token. Um, it's unfortunate this is a colossal weakness right there. Um, 
Mm. Defense never works in these sorts of positions. Just trying to hold on and hope that nothing bad will happen just usually doesn't work. Um, yeah, I should do a light attack here. Instead of putting the rook down, we're going to use one of my lighter pieces to start this attack. I mean, a pawn would be even better, but a pawn attacking is too slow here. So, yeah, we start our attack right now. We get the first attack in against the king. Um, it's going to be spooky, whatever happens next. Because I don't have nearly the armada I would like for this sort of attack. Um, maybe a rook drop to hit the bishop and also hit this center pawn might be... Well, then they just drop a gold. Never mind. All right. Let's see how it is. Um, do I? Not sure. This is why I was saying speed matters, because um, they are going to attack quickly. Eventually they'll get a knight. They don't have a knight just yet. Um, debating where to drop the rook, because there's problems with both ways I can drop this. They don't have a knight just yet, so right now this is okay. If I put it one square closer, they drop a gold and I don't get a tempo. Um, this way I do get the tempo. But I'm prone to this like bishop 5-5 five five idea. So, uh, on bishop 5-5 five five I might sack my rook immediately for two golds, which is also spooky. But, I mean, well, actually, bishop 5-5, five five, I could drop silver 6-4 um, in this particular position. Right, so they're attacking next to my king. Um, again, pretty spooky. Um, uh, my idea here was pawn drop 5-9 to attempt to slow this down. I don't think it's going to be very successful, but I do think it gains me one tempo. So I think I have to do this. Just keep the rook at bay. Um, maybe if I'm lucky there's another a drop to continue protecting this back here, but I think I just need to start attacking next. Alright, well... That's special. Um, is that seriously mate? Gold takes. Bishop drop. King over. Like, it's not quite mate. I have to take it. Um, I've sped up their attack, but it's not a strong enough attack. So, free rook, I guess. Alright. Show me what I've missed. Show me what I've missed. Okay. I think I see what I've missed now. That's clever. Alright. Well, good game. Well played. Yeah, this is the teaching ladder, where every week we learn something new. Um, yeah, good game. Um, so what did we learn this week? 
other than like okay pawn drop at the end doesn't quite work um that's interesting so i guess i guess we take a look at this from the beginning try to figure it out we've had quite a few tactical melees week after week here um so yeah I'll have to learn this opening a bit better, but like one of uh, the ideas I had was like, can I do this? I don't know. Um, maybe this is playable. And I feel particularly bad because Shogi Harbor was showing some of this this morning and I don't remember it all. Um, or rather I remembering extraordinarily poorly on this so this might just be a different game uh defending with the gold is the joseki okay so like gold seven two yeah yeah that's fine <sighs> I have to research this. So, like, I'm always getting outbooked. Um, so, that's... I just kind of accept that as a fact of life. Um, but, yeah, the more games I play, the more shapes I'll become familiar with. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if I should have done half, you know, yet. Because, like, he's not really threatening to exchange rooks. Um, there, there's all kinds of other stuff I could do. Um, having closed this diagonal made it really confusing for me to try to figure out how to attack. I didn't expect my opponent to play so aggressively. So. Um... Maybe I needed a harder counter for some of whatever special thing they're doing. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't fallen into some trap by spending a tempo on this. That's good to know. Um, yeah, in theory. Oh, that's usually not how we go. Yeah. <laughs> But okay, that makes sense. We play some... We play with fire. So, like, this probably was where I first messed up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This could indicate a quick attack, he says. <laughs> uh, I had no idea what to do here. I mean, I have like this, 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 uh, maybe this. I don't know, there's just a lot to think about. And I was concerned about a quick attack. And I don't know how to respond to every possible quick attack. So, just like in a 15 minute time control, this is a way to get me to panic. And the more games I play, the better I'll get at this. Um... Yeah. Oh yeah, there's also like this sort of thing. Yeah. I don't know. Probably should just start playing fourth file rook more often than third file, but this is interesting to play too. When I try to play fourth file against stronger opponents, I just get ground down, so that's why I'm playing other stuff against everyone. Um I'd rather have these tactical sorts of games until my fourth file opening gets strong enough that, like, I don't suck against strong players with it. Um, I think after Spock the Bishop, Bishop 5-4 drop is strong. Okay, so I think he's talking about this sort of thing. One of these squares. One of these five fours, but okay, yeah, after we've activated the bishop. I'm not sure exactly what he's talking about here. 
because it took forever for the bishop to become active. Um, uh, my bishop did become active. Uh, did it? <laughs> I missed a character. What was the reasoning between her silver takes instead of pawn takes back here? Back somewhere here. Yeah, this thing. So we have two options. Um. Yeah, I didn't think silver takes would work anywhere near as well as it did. Um, because it kind of forced me to do, uh, force the action here. Uh, pawn takes, and I wouldn't really have to respond. Although, yeah, maybe pawn takes is just as good. Maybe my position's just terrible. Um, I mean, I guess if they do this, maybe I do this. Maybe there's this might be some sort of concrete refutation. I don't know. This is weird. Although they're still better here. Actually, yeah, there's no reason for me to do that, is there? Um Yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh, my timing is great. Like, there's so many other things I should be doing here. Um, I don't even know what, but, like, this idea looks tempting. Um, well, so I control this square. Oh! Okay, so this is the idea. Um, hmm. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, it looks like I just lose my rook here. So, that's unfortunate. Shows how much I know. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, pawn takes. I wonder. <sighs> I mean... Hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess they don't have a pawn in hand, so they do have to capture. So wait, so I made a mistake earlier then. Um, yeah, maybe I just have to go back directly. So, this instant they don't yet have the pawn in hand. They'll get it soon, but, um... Yeah, for at least one tempo, I'm okay. Yeah, now they have the pawn in hand, and this is scary. Uh, move 51. Yeah, I wonder. Um, so... I guess here I need to strike back. And, okay, yeah, they get my rook, and I get something, maybe, hopefully. I don't know. I better hope there's something here, because, like, I'm giving up a rook for it. Yeah, this looks so exciting on my part. Um, normally I do bishop takes, but, yeah...
Oh, looks tough to me. I mean, I am starting to erode this castle. I'm starting to take control of some center squares, but they've got an extra rook. Um, I'll have a gold for the rook, which is not really worth it. And I don't know how to continue attacking, so... Yeah, I think you're right that um, even after I play this rook back, I'm still in trouble. Um, so, yeah. The silver in hand and the edge attack amino is more likely. Yeah. yeah every piece they get is going to make this easier for them. Huh. I guess in general I need to focus on using my bishop more because yeah this is just I don't know every game is kind of like this and I don't know man how I ever manage to win games but sometimes I do um so sometimes I overcome, but yeah, here, here I'm just in trouble. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, can we play that every week? I thought I was supposed to learn things, uh, yeah. Of course you can learn Bishop Exchange better and better every week, but, um, yeah, it's interesting trying new stuff too. Particularly if there's stuff that doesn't cause the entire board to explode into flames every turn. Like something where I could actually start to plan. Um, eh, eventually I'll get there. Um. So, yeah. So I wonder. Yeah, I guess this whole idea I had about like this being the right time to attack is just completely off. Um. Hmm. Now we know. That's too bad. Yeah. Stamp pawn would be blocking my bishop, so like... Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, can I really do that with the pawn in the way? Uh, also no pawn in hand. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's one thing... I think I messed up earlier and just continued compounding my error. That's how I usually play chess, at least online, that um, once I make a mistake, I just keep doubling down on it and eventually it pays off, or I just get um, destroyed, like what happened this game. With Shogi, I have to be a bit more patient if I want a good game, don't I? Um, but, yeah. Um, maybe I needed to do that. So, I don't know, like, if I do this, like, surely you're bringing some piece to prevent me from breaking on the third file. Or you're doing a break yourself, and I have no idea what to do. So, um, I mean, we could put the bishop here. 
Like, we're calling this Ishida, right? But, um, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what I thought might happen. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how to play this. I mean, it might. Okay. Yeah, I guess that might work. I don't really understand it, but maybe it's okay. My bishop's not... Well, it is stopping their rook. Um, they can block me from doing anything, and I have no pawn in... Well, okay, now I get a pawn in hand. So, maybe it's playable. Looks tricky, but... Um, yeah. As I get a pawn in hand, uh, maybe this is playable. So, this looks better for you. Uh, so, I must have misplayed earlier. So, I mean, yeah, that's just pretty classic. I just got outbooked. And uh, um, tried to force my way out of it. So this, I think, is what would have happened had I tried to play this Ishida style um, opening. It looks quite unpleasant for me, but... I don't know, maybe it's playable. <sighs> nice. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that's sharp. Um, well, okay, if there's this fork, then... Yeah, I don't know. It's complicated. But yeah, the bishop covers this too. So, um, well, okay, yeah, we could continue down the line. Oh, actually, I forgot. Yeah, like, maybe this is playable for me here. Um, interesting. Yeah, so, oh. There's a good point. Yeah, every time I see something, he sees five things. Um, yeah, but this is covered. So... <sighs> looks tough for me. Yeah. So I think I just played into his sweet spot. He knew what was going on here. And since this is 15 minute base time, I did just played quickly through it, expecting that somehow things would be okay. And they weren't. Um, and sometimes I can get away with that, but not every time. Uh... Maybe. I mean, if Senta has a better attack, it's uh, it's because the silver is moved. Well, maybe so. Yeah. That silver would be a uh, target. So. Stuff's possible. Well, I mean, that's the Ishida thing, is that, like, those pieces are coordinated. Uh, so that means that my Rook is active. But, um, yeah, no, I think, like, what am I going to do here, right? 
So as you point out, like this is a huge threat. I have one move to resolve it. Maybe there is a way. I just don't see it. So this is the merit of a rapid attack. It's like it can achieve a goal and I just have to continuously run. I didn't... Well, I'm playing in this teaching ladder so I can see stuff like this because I don't see it very often. Um, usually, like, one side or the other plays differently than this, so... If I want these aggressive things, I have to play in the ladder and just get my butt kicked over and over and over until I finally have some idea what's going on. But So, yeah, that's, so that's one idea, but I'll have to explore other ideas, too. Uh, okay. We'll wait. You weren't saying anything. Silver up loses the silver, right? I don't know. How do we even get there? That other position. Is that this here? I don't remember. Yeah. So... The pawn drops, silver is unconnected. Yeah, but... The other pawn drop happens. I think it's okay. Um, yeah, but like, I mean, okay, thank you. I could not remember how we got here. So I was suggesting this, and you're suggesting this, and I'm suggesting this, and you're suggesting this, and I'm suggesting this. Oh, well, okay, yeah, you're right, this is disconnected. Um, now I would even take the silver here, I think, but maybe taking the rook is somehow better. Um, you're right that these are disconnected. That is correct. Um, you're looking at me to try to explain this. Um, okay, yeah, that was my plan B. Yeah, something like this. Actually, maybe onto the king's file might be better. I don't know. Because this might lure the pawn forward, make a hole. Um, fine with an extra silver, you say. How is this fine? Maybe. Maybe you're right. What am I supposed so pessimistic about anyway? So Yeah, so I guess I want to go back to this line. Um Like, what's so great about this? I'm just not understanding it. Okay. I feel like this is the moment where something terrible happens to my position. Amino with pieces in hand should be better for me. Um... I guess. Maybe you're right. <sighs> okay. 
I guess so. Yeah, so this is what I kept, or right now I'm looking at. I guess this exchange is perhaps best for both players. Um, or rather best for Senta. And okay, they can start this attack. Um... I guess, yeah, I don't know what to say. Oh, okay, I did miss this. Yeah, that is strong. That lands one tempo before I could get bishop 5-5 five five in. Um, which would have stopped that from happening. Uh, so... Yeah, well, <laughs> I was trying uh, to stop it, um, but you're right that, like, I can't. Not this way. So I have to do something else to stop it, so I have to, like, spend a general to cover that. I don't play Boat Castle, so I have no idea what's going on. So... Maybe I need to start playing this castle to just figure out how to break it. Um, like, I get that Mino is strong against uh, attacks from the side. So, if I get hit from the side, I should be okay. What I'm not so clear about is how do I attack with this combination of forces, but um, must be doable. So, yeah. Yeah, I would do this. And as much as I say that I understand that Mino is good against attacks from the side, like, I'm still playing this. I'm still going to try to attack it from the diagonal on the side. But I guess somehow my attack um, as Senta is faster than the attack that they have as Gota. Um, and they tell you not to get bought too bogged down in endgames when doing post-game analysis, but... Um, yeah, I just don't know at all like how to evaluate this. They do uh, have repeatedly heard things about, like, look at the distance of the piece from the king, and look at how far this is from the king, and how far that is from the king, and then you know that you're safe. Except here, like, the king could get attacked on the diagonal or the front, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this um, a lot of this surprised me here. So possibly the bishop drop on five four, or I don't know. Uh, take the pawn though to keep the pin. Yeah. I wonder which bishop drop we're even talking about that was premature. But still, like this is just a lot of confusing stuff. I'm not sure if Lily was talking about this position or the other one we were just looking at. Um, 
Night Drop looks good too. Lots of options for Mino. Yeah. Oh, 5-4. Okay, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. This Night Drop is interesting. Then again, to me, everything's interesting because I don't understand any of this. But yeah, it is interesting. Yeah, we could try this. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I don't understand what either player is doing here. Um, like, this does defend some squares, that's for sure. Uh, we are afraid of being attacked, but... Um, yeah, this way, like, the castle actually comes under a direct attack. Um... Mm, <laughs> Man, I'm sorely tempted to do a bishop drop over here or something. I think this prepares the rook drop. Um, and prepares other various drops, too. Oh, well, I mean, you got that, but I've got a drop, too, right? I'm not sure that this rook is happy here. Uh, you're thinking bishop 5-4. So okay, I don't think bishop drops fast enough. Yeah. Drop the knight. So you prefer this knight drop, which actually I've seen this before. So the idea is like it supports another knight drop that approaches the castle. Yeah, this sort of thing... I probably will leave to the engines to resolve, but that makes some sense. There's a fight going on here, but I would back up a little bit. So I'm not so sure that this silver drop is that great. It doesn't actually do anything with regard to this silver drop, unless we're going to do silver takes silver, which maybe we are. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm not sure like if this silver unless we're threatening to exchange silvers and like somehow try to hold this together. Um that might not be the best use of a tempo. Um Oh. Okay, yeah, just a feeling. You know, there's a lot to figure out. Uh, uh Engines are good at reading. But yeah, I guess this is good for both players. You might prefer Sente here, and this might be the way to do it. Because, like, this actually attacks the square. And I don't see how to counter that, but also I'd be surprised if there weren't a counter. Um. Hmm. Yeah, the fact that the square is vacant might be what makes this playable for Senta. Like, if there were a pawn there, this would be harder to approach. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe this this might be the very thing that I'm missing. I'm trying to read everything, and it's just difficult. Uh, yeah, I just have so many bad memories, even with this castle. Like, it's a super strong castle, and I still manage to F it up regularly. Yeah, so... What else is going on? So I was thinking the bishop exchange looked great. Uh, in hindsight, it probably doesn't. What else might there be? I don't know. There's no way to kick this bishop off the diagonal. 
and continue pursuing like from the side because you yeah, have the same knight drop and attacking on 5-3 strikes no matter what Gota does here. So actually getting that extra knight in hand is what matters in this case. Huh. Um... Yes, no matter what happens, Senta's always got the initiative here. Which means whatever variation got us into this mess that I was saying, you know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Well, now we're starting to be a little bit sure that um, Senta's fine. Because um, the king is heavily protected. And even though I have no idea how to break this castle, um, like, a lot of the positions that you'll see having to do with attacking this particular castle are saying, well, in the final moments of this attack castle being attacked, here's how to uh, checkmate the king. There's not so many resources, although there are some, about, like, how do you even approach this castle? Uh, it's a decent castle and allows for good rapid attacks, which confuse me frequently. But, um, uh, yeah, the, I don't really have any other positions in mind here. I know, like, spectators like these end games, but you saw in the very game, like, I fell into a mate in five or something, so... Likewise, um, have a nice weekend. But, yeah, the reason I'm trying not to worry too much about endgames, or rather, not try not to worry about too much about some of this reading, is because I feel it real elementary um, endgame reading. So, the way this played out in the game, I did fall into a pretty elementary mate. Uh, just because I don't know any better. Um, and still working my way through Katagami's book. Still stuck in chapter one. Um, I'll claim that I'm stuck until I get 100% on all 30 problems. So we'll just continue at that effort until we finally get it. Um, so yeah, this is exciting for everybody. Um... See, so yeah, my idea about trying to pressure the rook from the head uh, was not so clear as I thought it was. Um, See, so yeah, dropping the rook back directly and trying to hold the file might have been my best course of action. Um, I mean, we didn't even have this exact position of the game because I didn't put my bishop on the edge because I thought like this position would be terrible from the outset. Um, Further... um. I imagined that even if we got a variation like this, somehow I thought something bad was going to happen here too. But I'm not seeing it. Um, yeah, maybe this is better than I thought. So yeah, activating the bishop on this other line seems very important when I close this diagonal. And this tactic only became possible because I moved my silver up and this enabled them to push here. So there's stuff to watch out for. I'll have to turn this game through an engine, see how many other things were missed. But um, another idea, just by the way, is I could like play the bishop up and then back here and then play the knight up or something like that. Like, there's other ways for me to use this bishop. So, yeah, we're going to continue trying these this teaching ladder stuff and see um, if I can play good games or not.
the past few weeks we had some crazy tactical melees with this opponent and this week um well not so much it was just one player getting checkmated instead of both uh or only one player held all the mate threats this game i tried to attack but it was too slow and i defended incorrectly uh although this might not even matter at this point but yeah, that's a very good observation that he could just take that. So, I misplayed. Um, now obviously, I can't pawn drop here. But, well, yeah, this would have been a, a resource to try to make things more complicated. Alright, well, there's a lot of resources in this game. I... My full Mino got broken into half Mino, and then I just didn't play it right. So, i got a lot to study. Thanks everyone for the help with the analysis. And take care.